trying to get crazy with this thing? Don't you know I'm loco? The power of the Supreme Court! The judicial branch is in charge of interpreting the law. The Supreme Court. How powerful is it? I mean, really. You don't know the power. Yes, I do. I was just being dramatic for the vid. There's no court above it. The Supreme Court's at the top. They have the final say. I mean, look at judicial review. Judicial review is when the Supreme Court can declare government action is unconstitutional. Mulberry v. Madison is the Supreme Court case where the Supreme Court declared it had this power. You know you're powerful when you can tell Congress and the White House and the states that their actions are unconstitutional, even though it's not written in the Constitution explicitly that you have that power. You're like, oh no, it's kind of in there, sort of. Yeah, the court's tough. Like Schwarzenegger tough. Oh no, it's time now to turn this mush into muscles. A judge's political ideology. Judges are people. They may be on the left side of the political spectrum, being more liberal, or they could be on the right side of the political spectrum, being more conservative. Presidents nominate judges, and they look at a judge's political ideology. Justices serve for life. That's why presidents care that they'll be there to protect their policy and their legacy to come. Senators are the ones that confirm judicial appointments. That's why there's a litmus test. A hearing where senators ask political questions to judicial nominees to find out where they fall in the political spectrum. Selective incorporation. This is where the Supreme Court applies a portion of the Bill of Rights to the state governments. Once again, selective incorporation is when the Supreme Court applies a portion of the Bill of Rights to the state governments. The Supreme Court justifies selective incorporation by citing the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment. This has made the court very powerful when they limit the states from taking away speech, limiting religion, not protecting the rights of the accused. Supreme Court is powerful. They're like X-Men powerful. Is it possible the Supreme Court is too powerful? We need to be put in check. Whatever form that takes, I'm game. If we can't accept limitations, we're boundaryless. We're no better than the bad guys. I know what you're thinking, but it hasn't come to this yet. There has been an ongoing debate between judicial activism versus judicial restraint. Judicial activism is when the court rulings are suspected of being based on personal opinion rather than on the law. They're legislating from the bench, creating laws they wish existed. Judicial restraint is a belief that judges should not strike down laws or actions unless there's a clear conflict. Judges that utilize judicial restraint might actually rule against something they agree with personally because they're following the letter of the law. Judges aren't just one thing. They decide on a case-by-case -case basis if they're going to follow the judicial activism approach or the judicial restraint approach. The Supreme Court is extremely powerful, shaping what our laws mean, having the final say. In fact, it's a pretty cool job. I love judging people. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I never thought of this. I had to go Google how to become a judge.